The Commission has been engaging intensively with the UK to find common ground uh, between our respective uh, positions and uh, to bring stability and predictability for the people and businesses in Northern Ireland. It is a whole new model for how goods uh, can be moved uh, from Great Britain uh, to Northern Ireland. It would result uh, in strength and opportunities uh, for the people of Northern Ireland. And this was a big move uh, by us. But until today, we have seen no move at all from the UK side. I find this disappointing. And once again, I urge the UK government to engage with us sincerely. From this perspective, I see next week as an important one. We should focus all efforts on reaching a solution as soon as possible. We hear a lot about Article 16 at the moment. Let there be no doubt that triggering Article 16 to seek the renegotiation of the protocol would have serious consequences. Serious for Northern Ireland, as it would lead to instability and unpre unpredictability. And serious also for the EU-UK relations in general, as it, as it would mean a rejection of EU efforts to find a consensual solution to the implementation of the protocol. The trade and cooperation agreement is clear. Vessels that were fishing in the territorial waters of the UK and Crown dependencies should be allowed to continue. All French vessels entitled to a license should receive one. I support Commissioner Sinkevichus in his ongoing efforts to find a solution. Well, what are those serious consequences, 